What is going on guys? Back with another shot on live. We're gonna be using Snow's team with Mega Camerot. Haven't used Camerot so far, so I don't really mind if people know my sets because this team is on a forum. Link to the team will be down in the description. If I'm him, I'm probably with Garchomp or something that leads our followers is the Camerot. Um, I kind of like Landris as a lead here. Kelly also looks fine. He does lead Primarina. But I think Primarina just dies to off-play the Landorus. But let me calc real quick. This Landorus is adamant makes attack to help with the with the stall matchup, I assume. Um, let's just say oh, you're flying him and we'll put uh, off-play on there. Primarina. If he doesn't run any bulk, he will get blown away by this because the off plate will boost this. And it's heavily in my favor to Oko him, so I will just click off quick here. He does not have any ground immunity besides the besides the Zard. So he does just sack his Primarina. I don't think that mattered. The crit. If it mattered, my bad. <laughs> so this could be HPI Zard Y. Oh, he's just gonna try to smack me with a fire blast. I think Camerop does a fine play, or... Actually, Camerop takes way too much, probably. So I think Kelly is my play. This is rough, man. I can't really switch into this monster. That way is so hard to switch into. Stone Ash doesn't even Oku him, but... I guess Kelly is not necessary to win this game, so I go on Kelly for now. Is he dragging in Zardex? Oh, what the fuck? I could have just gone for Smackdown then. So I don't agree with his play at all. He was going off me not having a move to hit him. Hmm, I didn't think about that. Maybe that was a misplay. Now I have to go for Hydro Pump. I need damage on this. If I miss. Okay, nice. We hit. If I miss, I'm in a bad spot. But we should. Yeah, we don't. We're not. I was about to say we might be able to tank one, but this Kelty runs minus defense nature. Most Kelty's run it these days. Because you need Stone Edge to be able uh, you need Stone Edge to do more damage to stuff like Volcarona. Uh, yeah, I think I lose to this. Camera might be able to take a hit. Unless he's off quake. So I think I just have to go Landris and take the hit. Because Mew can't touch him. So if he's roost, he roosts up on me and sets up all over me, so I have to go to this. And click off quick here. Um, I could have gone for rocks there, but it was unnecessary risky. In case he had outrage or something else. Actually, no, nah, I think rocks would have been fine. But what if he dragon danced again? Nah, I stand by my play. I stand by my play. If he dragon dances again, I'm in a bad spot. Um, I can just go to my mute and defog, which would bring in his... If he goes for hazards here, that would bring in him, would bring in his Tapu Koko probably. And then he would probably U-turn on my camera up and go into his uh, guard chomp. <laughs> yeah, rocks are definitely a bit annoying because I have a Tornadus. <laughs> Actually, I was like thinking a few turns ahead there. Just trying to figure out if I agree with my play there. I think I do agree with my play. He doesn't even get up hazard, so this is even better for me. He might try to go on his own Mew, obviously, to burn me. So he's either gonna stay in here or go in Mew. So I think Camerop does a really good mid ground here. Because Camerop should beat Mew one on one. As he goes to Tapu Koko, now I look like a god. I did not predict that. I predicted the Mew, like I said, or the stay in. And I can just click off paw. He doesn't have switch ins. I will obviously Mega Evolve. <laughs> and yeah, this account is around 1570, 1580. So we do have some points in this. This is gonna be like 60%, I assume. Just my head covered. Oh my god, that did 83. This thing is a monster. Um, Yon is interesting. Um, I guess it makes it's good if you have a Hazard to force switches. And it helps with stuff like. That camera up vaults. There's not much that vaults camera up. This set gets walled by Mantine, so it helps to put that to bed if they stay in. I know there's also nature power running around if you pair um, camera up with electric, with like some sort of terrain. So I think nature power can turn into an electric move if you want electric terrain. So then you can Oko Mantine, which is crazy. 
But yeah, I'll just go into my tor tornado sphere. I think he's a scarf jump. He just goes for off quick. Now I look like a god. Um, I mean, he obviously kind of had to off quick because this thing is a big threat. But he's so far in the back. I don't think he can win at this point. And I'll just click U turn here to get momentum. And we just get a kill with a camera now. Amazing. Yeah, I love how this team is working already. But the Zod was a big threat, obviously. And if I didn't crit his Primarina and get a low roll, I would have been in trouble, but you never know. So he has Grass not and crits me, which sucks, but it's fine. Um, this might put me in range from Psychic from Mew, which is why I say this sucks. But yeah, this time he's gonna go for Dragon Claw. So if I flex, I go into my um, Majorna here. It's unnecessary as fuck. I guess I can set my Landros here. I <laughs> No, I just go to Anetis. I don't really care if he goes for Dragon Claw. I eat, it. I eat it anyway. He goes for Stone Edge. Wow. This guy went for Stone Edge when I have Mew. Yeah, and maybe Mew would have been my better play. Pretty sure he's Scarf, so. What I'll do is go to Mew here, which is what I should have done in the first place to be like to begin with. Now I get a free Will Always. Slash Ice Beam. I think Ice Beam is a better play. Yeah, because I don't want to get burned. By his, uh, by synchronized from his Mew, and if he doesn't have Psychic Camera, might be able to put him work. That is why the crit sucks, the crit from earlier. And uh, U turns, okay, that's fine. So I guess I'm gonna be forced to set my camera up. This is not gonna. Now I can still kill the Pharaoh and live a U turn from the Mew if I bring it in on the sack later on. So I'm gonna just go into my set my Landris probably. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna set Melandris. Heart Mew is also an option, but I'm not gonna risk anything. He goes for Iron Head. This guy is running some weird sets. If I had Focus Blast with Majuna, I just won here. Or I just got a kill. Actually, Comet is nice to set up with Mew. Hmm. I kinda wanna go to Mew and then double into my camera route. Predicting his Mew and then I get a kill. If he only has U-turn and Will-O-Wisp. I mean, maybe I don't get a kill, but I'm gonna click Fire Blast here and do 5 million as long as I connect. If he only has U-turn, like I said, this should be fine. If he has Psychic, this didn't work out for me. But I want the Camel to put in more work. I'd already put in work. So I can wrap it up after 8 minutes here and say, JK, JK, I'm gonna get more games. But. Let's see, this game is not over yet because... Uh, oh, why did he do that? This is going to do 80% 78, wow. So I'm thinking I'm just going to click Fire Blast again. Because he's going to... Um, Elf Power is not going to kill and as long as I hit he's going to get cooked. Oh, camera putting that work. So now my Mew just wins the game from here. Uh, Mew plus Tornado wins. kind of want to keep this. What's Ferrosan's speed again? Is Ferrosan slower than this? Oh yeah, Ferrothorn is slower, so I'll keep this around, I guess. Majuna doesn't have Z-Focus Blast. So I'm just gonna set my Majuna, I don't need it. Um, now I look like a god, obviously, but I was willing to sack this. Um, he's gonna go on a Ferrothorn here, so I'm gonna double into my camera opt. Uh It's probably unnecessary risky play. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I think about it, but I'm gonna make the play. It's an unnecessary risky play, but it worked out. Kind of putting in that work, and hopefully we can connect another fire blast here and grab our kill as we do. Amazing! Whew, it's lit. Camera up, got all the kills. Game one. I'm happy already. And uh, GG to this guy. <laughs> already did. And we're gonna grab another one. We are 1582. Okay. Okay, so we get some disgusting necrozma. I want to play this. Um, it's probably going to be some star power. It might also be rocks, but he has so many potential rock setters. I guess he's rock stars, Scarf Kelio, Mega God of War. And Tornadus matches up Brawl versus most of his members. So I think I'll just leave a Torn and start a timer. As we do get the lead matchup perfect. And we can go for a slow U turn here if he's Scarf. And we can also just go for a knockoff, but I think U-turn is the play to make. I kinda wanna superpower painting his Tyranitar. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I'm just gonna knock here. Yeah, I'm just gonna knock here. Because T-Tap should die to knock into superpower. I don't think people expect Torn to carry superpower these days. And if he stays in, I think he's just gonna go for rocks. So he does eat it. Okay, okay. But it just goes for rocks as expected. I can defog later. I don't know if u turn kills. u turn should kill, yeah. Yeah, u turn kills. And Mew pretty much defogs on everything, so I'll just go to Mew here. Actually, maybe not. No, I think Mew is a fine play. D depends what he goes out into here, obviously, if I can afford to defog. If he goes in a cross mode, I think it's annoying and can set up. But Garchomp, this might be. Oh, this might be Mega Garchomp and not Mega Gardevoir. But it should. Oh, this is Z move, I assume. Uh, maybe I should just go for Ice Beam. Yeah, I should go for Ice Beam damage, and this is way more important than getting rid of the rocks. So he predicted me to go for Will Wish there. That didn't work out for him. Um, yeah, just Ice Beam here. This should kill him, thanks to the, him going for sub. And he crits me, which sucks. Uh, if I defog there, I would have been in a bad position anyway, so Ice Beam was the correct play, but I'm not going to be able to defog now. Unless I double this in on a slow Pokemon, which I don't think that's a point of doing that. Hmm. I think I'll just sack this, try to defog. As he goes for SD and gives me the defog, this guy is nice. So I'm just going to set my Mew and then... He's got Iron Head here, obviously. Maybe I should have Willow Wisp there, now that I think about it. But... I want to go Camera up here on the obvious Iron Head, but uh, nah, keeping Camera Tiles is nice for Gardevoir, I guess. Nah, Gardevoir is not that scary. I'm going to predict the Iron Head, so I'm going to go Camera up here. Because he does Iron Head, and that does fucking 5 million now, because he's alive. Or, but I'm basically just wasting the last center turn, which is what I wanted, so Camera was just for this game. There's no point in switching anything into this monster. So we're just sacking this, and now this hand is gonna kill you outspeed him, which is what I wanted. So I can just click Scald with my Keldeo here. I don't know if Superpower kills him, so I'm not gonna risk anything. But yeah, if I just click with my Mew, I might have missed. The Outlet crit sucked a lot and put me in a bad spot, kinda. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk missing a pump, I'm just gonna Scald, pick him off. You know, I can go Gardevoir or the Crossmon, try to set up. Go with Gardevoir, which I don't really agree with because I have a Majorna, which checks him pretty well. So I'm just gonna go hard Majorna. He doesn't really have a good double. Because Viper Voice, it doesn't do that much, and I don't know how speech uh, Scarf killed you, so there's no point in going for Shift Gear. I feel. Uh, I want to call mine up here as he taunts me. I got flexed on. I got flexed on by this guy, so I'm just gonna kick a Volt Havoc here. As he's gonna be able to 2 hit KO me. Which is completely fine, I just want damage on this. Mm, I, if I go Tornadus, I can miss Hurricane, so maybe that's not the play. I don't know if Scald kills, because Garf Keld is not that strong. I think my, think my best play is going Landorus, because I, I love any one hit. And in case Kelly doesn't kill, I don't want to risk missing a Hyrule Pump. Yeah, yeah, Skull doesn't kill. It's like a roll that I don't, that I won't get. I was just knock off from Tornadoes there. Nah, I'm pretty sure she's just going to land though. Hmm, Hurricane doesn't kill. So I'm just gonna click off quick here. No immunities, off plate, boosted. Gonna pick up the kill as long as he doesn't crit me. Oh my god, that did so much. <laughs> So if he crit me there, I would have been in a bad position. Yeah, I shouldn't even have set up at mid -June. I'll try to set up. That's fine. Mm, I kind of want to keep this in case he yeah, outspeed the Necrozmon, get a big damage with off plate boosted Earthquake. So I'll go hard on my uh, Solvus Tornadoes. Hopefully we don't get burned here. That does a lot. There might be specs and... I'll just hope that I hit my Hurricane here as we do connect. So now... Oh, that doesn't kill. Well. Wow. So now, this Tornadus has some special attack investment, which is why I'm surprised that it didn't kill. The problem is that he burned me, so now the next U-turn doesn't kill him. U-turn might not kill him because of that burn. 
Uh, knockoff should kill him though. Yeah. He was a choice banks as expected. And I can still lose to this. I'm gonna click knockoff to get rid of its item. But he didn't show Z move. Is he Z move Necrozma? Gonna knock off to sec this. Cause I don't wanna miss a hurricane. He's probably gonna set up here. Um, my play after is gonna be probably click off quick with land and hope that I'm faster. We do get rid of the leftovers. Thankfully he didn't go for iron defense. So we can go landers here and click off play boosted off quick as long as he's not running a lot of speed. As that does a good chunk, but he eats and it goes for oh my god, I lose to this. Why did that do nothing though? What the fuck? Did I have another play? This one is still scary even though the Tompas got banned. Man, I just got bobbed, that was embarrassing. Um, I gotta hope for crits, I guess. Oh, wait, he choked. Why did he do that? He just won the game, but he choked. Um, okay, so he decided that I don't want to win. Winning is overrated, it seems. And we'll grab another one. I should have lost that game. I don't know. Like, Let me know in the comments if I make any misplays. I probably make misplays here and there. This guy's a disgusting team. Let me check his rank. Camera up can put in some work versus him. It's played correct. Let me see. So this guy's 1663. Okay, okay. Tornadoes measures up decently well. I think I'll just leave with Tornadoes. Leads with God of War, so hopefully we can connect our. Hmm. I think we just U turn here. No, I think I hope we just hope we just hope that we connect the hurricane here. No, I want to U-turn predicting his packs so badly. Yeah, I'm gonna U-turn. He stays in, which uh, I don't know about that play, my, my guy. Uh, but uh, letting Majuna get weakened is bad because I'm gonna get overwhelmed. He's gonna go pack slash Tangro, so we're gonna command. And hopefully he stays in. He should scout for the Gigavolt Havoc, but this guy's not. Doesn't have the best win loss ratio. He does scout. Great play on great play on his part. I should have called mine again. Actually, yeah, I could have had haze, which is why I didn't make that play. But this is probably defensive. Um So I just ice beam again. I kinda want to T-Bolt predicting his toxic packs. But I don't trust these ladder goons. Oh he's scarf. What the fuck? Oh he's max speed, I mean. Wait, what? This should be his rocker though. Oh yeah, he's still faster if he's running speed. Yeah, that was an awful play on my part, so I just threw my journal away. <sighs> so this is where I start playing awful. Like, I just hate playing versus fat, disgusting, ugly teams like this. This gets me mad as fuck. When I don't have to, like, I don't even have the tools to break it, I feel. I do have, but like... I have to be patient, which is what I'm not, because it's 1am. <laughs> so... I just choked on a fat ass. I mean the scout that was so obvious there, but the problem is you never know how good these ladder kids are. That is the problem. Like I thought this guy was just bad because the GCE was pretty pitiful, so like <sighs> Just gonna get my rocks up I guess. He should not have HPIs. I guess this is Z move land or Z move Lily. So we got Skarmory, we can smack down here. Slash. Mm. Now we're gonna go camera up because camera puts in work. And we're gonna fire blast. I kinda wanna ancient power because he has sturdy anyway, so I can't oko him. I gotta break the sturdy first. Um, he might pivot from Pax into something, like try to go Pax on the Fire Blast and then pivot into land on the Elf Power, so I'm just gonna double Fire Blast this time. If he goes Pax, that is. And if he predicts me, I can click X. I played bad early on, now I have to play aggressive. <laughs> he goes Hard Lander, which, which I don't agree with. If I miss this, I'm clicking X. We do connect and we do roast this Lander, is amazing. So we're still in this game. 
And he goes Lele, which makes me think that he's choice bags. Um, if he's choice bags, can he Oko me? Probably. Uh, come on, Mega. I don't know how much bulk I have. 313 HP only. Fuck. So Psychic is a guaranteed Oko V specs. Yeah, I'll just go into Mamu. There's no point in risking my camera up. Because for Psychic, there's 32 to Mamu. I just want to get the information. 236 Bedeva Mamu. Yeah, I think he specs. So I can double into my camera up here if I can ogle his toxic packs, that is. Camera up is a great breaker, but it's just so slow. Man, if this one had more speed, it would be amazing. Camera up does toxic packs. Earth power ogles toxic packs. So I'm really tempted to make the camera up play here. He did 31 to my Mew. Is that even specs? I have to calc again before I mess up. Let's say choice scarf. Mm, it could just be choice scarf. So he might go for taunt here or for um something like that. But I'm gonna predict him to go into talk um something. Okay, I didn't predict him to go guard or <laughs> predict the toxic packs. So we got a calc of off power kills. Camera rocked. Versus a uh, guard of Omega. Yeah, off power is a roll. I'm not willing to risk this roll, so I'm just gonna fire blast. And I forgot about psychic drawing boosting his move, but it's fine if we get rid of the guard. Um, I think my best check to guard earlier in my Majuna, which was a misplay. We already talked about this. There's no point in keeping this now other than... Does it, it outspeeds packs, right? Does it? Oh, it doesn't outspeed packs. Never mind. This thing is slow as balls. So I don't see a point in keeping it. He's probably gonna go for Moonblast here. Yeah, he's, I think he's specs. So what I'm gonna do now is... Quick knock off here with my Torn. This game is gonna be close. Cause I wanna misplay early game. Yeah, this time just goes packs. Ah. Um, I just gotta hope that he doesn't scald by my lander is here. I'm just gonna skip turn cause I'm scared. Okay, he does not. So he's gonna go Skarmory here. Which makes me wanna go for Smackdown. He doesn't know if I'm off plate, so he might stay in. So I go for Rocks too, uh, as a mid ground play. Yeah, I don't like. It's my main way of breaking packs, I gotta be so careful now. He already showed defog, he's just gonna defog again. So if I smack down here, I can get up rocks, but I will have to take so many runs of poison, which is just not worth it. So I think what I have to do is go into my Caldeo here. And then double into my Mew. Uh, he's probably gonna go pack up with Tangrowth here. This way I get some leftovers on my Mew and I can burn something. And there goes Tangrowth, which sucks. Oh man, losing camera sucks in this situation. Because losing lefties on Mew is gonna be bad. I don't think I need. Oh, the Avian Ton is nice though, never mind. So I should have just scald, fish, fished for a scald burn there, that was a misplay then. Um. I think I'll lose my AV over losing lefties on Mew. And I'll go for Yuta and he predicting him to go into his... He might stay in because he can live a hurricane easily. But I gotta make plays because I'm in the back. So I'm gonna predict him to go in his Toxic Packs as he doesn't. So if he just knocks again, I'm in a really bad position. 
Yeah, I should have just hurricane then. Well, he does crit me and this game is probably over now. This was a combination of me misplaying and... What else? The guy having a fat, disgusting team. I don't know, it's probably just my misplay. So he can just click Moonblast freely, he's gonna do 5 million. Oh, it does nothing, never mind. So we're not out the game yet, we can click Will Wisp here. If he crits me, we can click X. So we do connect, thankfully, we can roost up. He's trying to crit me, what a scumbag move. Stop! Stop, you fucking faggot! Holy shit, I'm getting mad now. So at least he's trying to suck his top ability, which is amazing. And we're gonna burn his Toxapex too. Actually, he's gonna, he has Toxic on this, I'm not gonna allow this to get... I'm not gonna allow my Mew to get poisoned. Yeah, we're gonna go Landorus here. If he scalds me, that's... That's bad. See, there's Toxic, so we predict them correct. So he's gonna go to Skammer here, we already know this. <laughs> now he might stay in because he's at fold, so I'm gonna off quick, but he makes the safe play. Man, I'm getting mad now. He could have stayed in because he's at full, but he's probably spit deaf. Um, I could have smacked down there and scared him out into his tangros. Then I could have got my rocks up, and then I could have doubled around and applied more pressure, which is what I should have done. But now I'm just in a bad position. I'm gonna go to my Mew here. Uh, he has spikes. What? This guy's team is so weird. I'm just gonna default. It was packs. Dude, this. I can't break this. Fuck. I shouldn't have fallen for that. That was the most obvious thing that I went for Gigavolt Havoc. If I just went for Shifty on that turn. But the thing is, he could have just hazed me. Like, you guys probably in this. Like, I was kind of a 50 50, and I thought he wasn't good enough to predict it. Because a lot of people are bad usually, so it's hard to determine, like, it's hard to tell me how much skill they have and stuff. Um, this is rough now. If I let the Mew get poisoned, Tapu Lily destroys me. But I do need chip damage on his Toxic Pack, so I'm gonna hope that he goes for Skull here. As he just goes for Toxic, makes the correct play, so I'll probably lose. Shouldn't have allowed this to get poisoned, but on the other side, if I go Landreth, I take poison damage every time anyway. I don't know if this is the disgusting infestation set. Okay, it does have scold. It doesn't burn me, and we're just gonna hope for the best and click Hariki. <laughs> we can potentially get a confusion. We, you don't get it. And he gets the burn. That's how Pokemon works. You don't get the thing that you want, and they get it. Hopefully, we can get a confusion here, as he do, does make the correct play. So I'm gonna try one more time to get the confusion. So we do not get it. Ah, oh, come on. And one last try, at least, at least I'm hitting my Hurricanes, and we do get the Confusion, but he doesn't hit himself. And how much does Skull do earlier? 19%, so we're gonna go for Hurricane one more time. And we do hit Skarmory, he did not risk his picks there, we do get another Confusion, which is nice. And we're gonna U-turn here. As he does go back into picks. oh my god, he's back at full fucking Regenerator. Can we ban Toxapex, JK? So now I have to play aggressive, which means um, I have to go for Smackdown predicting his Skarmory here. I've had enough of this guy. And now I have to go for Rocks predicting his Tangros switch. Because he shouldn't stay in. And now I can go for U-turn. Which uh, covers if he doubles out, so I can... So that's, that's just ensures that he can't double into Skarmory. Which he does try to do, this is why U-turn is amazing. And now we can... Gonna kill you here. He does have a Toxapex, but I'm just... Gonna Scald here because this is annoying. And I'm just gonna Scald again here. I'm gonna tr predict him to go back into his Skarmory because he wants to get rid of the hazards. But he does not seem to care, so I don't agree with his play there. And I don't know why he keeps talking to this guy's bad now. I don't know. That was a bad play. He, sh he should have. Why? why? Everything is poisoned other than this. And what? Like, I guess he predicted me to stay in. I don't agree with his play. 
You guys can say I can predict that and I'm bad, but I don't agree with his play, like his play was awful. So back to John we go, fucking toxic packs. And we're gonna U-turn here because I can't afford to let a scum with defog, but he's just gonna stay in anyway. But what can we do? He doesn't know that I don't have heat wave, so he might not want to go scumry because I haven't revealed my last move yet. Hmm. I'm gonna have to hope that he goes scumry eventually when I go for U turn so I can get a young momentum. And yeah, this game is gonna take forever now because I misplayed in the beginning and I have to try to somehow win now. The main problem is the Pax. Tangos is obviously annoying too, but Pax is like the thing that. The only thing that's annoying, but yeah, he does make the scum replay, so I'm glad that I clicked the U turn here. But now that I'm at Caldeo's Poison, my entire team is getting willed. Which sucks. So he's just gonna go back to Pax here. And I'm gonna one more time one more la one last time I'm gonna try to catch him on his double switch. And he does stay in this time in Sexy Scumry. So we did catch him there on the choke, which is what I had to hope for. Um I, I was hoping I was predicting him to go Pax and then I would have double scored predicting him to double back, because I think this time he would have doubled back. Um but yeah, amazing. So now we just have to deal with this disgusting Toxapex. At least it's burned and it doesn't have Black Sludge. So we can click Hurricane once here, hopefully connect. And get the Confusion, which is amazing, but of course he gets not. Uh, he doesn't hit himself. Classic, classic. Gonna U-turn here into Memu to keep this healthy. Probably should have just spammed Hurricane. But yeah, this is kind of... I'm kind of gonna just have to PP stall this Toxapex now. Uh, we have a shot to win this now, at least. Whew. Um, after my awful misplaced early game, now we have a chance. I'm just gonna switch around a bit. As hmm, the thing is, I only have nine hurricanes. Gonna st if he stays in here, he's gonna get punished. He does switch. Okay. So I'm not no, just gonna try to get the crit or confusion again. I'm just gonna ignore this guy. I'm not gonna get mad. I wanted I wanted to say shut up, but like he's using a fat, disgusting team. You're not a, you, like you're not allowed to ask for hurricane misses, but of course he gets the hurricane miss. Um, I just gotta go for confusion. Exactly there it is, and we get it. So now I can hurricane again here, and if he hits himself, it look if he hit. And he hits himself, it's gonna be nice. So I don't really care if this guy complains, you fat, disgusting team, please connect. Fuck! This would have been so good to hit. I don't know if he has rock slide, so I have to U-turn here. That would have been so good to hit. He might just go back in the packs here. Oh man, I just... That would have been so nice. Yeah, I thought he would do that, it's fine. It's disgusting, regenerator core. At least I got my rocks up and he doesn't have any hazard setters, so he's not gonna get up any rocks. I just have to be careful that I don't misclick and defog. But yeah, it's fine. We're just gonna do this and go back in the torn. And this is gonna turn into some PP stalling fest. Um, my bad that you guys have to watch this, but I'm gonna keep recording for at least 10 more minutes. He only has 8 more recovers, uh, so I guess it's not looking too too bad. He goes top of Lele. Just gonna click knockoff here. Wait, he Scarf? I thought he was... Yeah, that, uh, right, right, right. I figured out that he wasn't... He wasn't Specs. His Tangrus was AV, right? A U-turn on his Tangrus earlier and I didn't take Helmet. I'm just making sure I'm not trying to die to Rocky Helmet. Um, then there's his U-turn. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. I can't find it. <laughs> Back into Mew. Back into Tron to get more region. Yeah, I didn't want to miss risk missing a hurricane on the Lily earlier. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not willing to risk a hurricane miss. I'm just not gonna risk that. I don't know why he keeps bringing his Lele in on a double, that makes no sense. Now he dies to burn. Uh, Mew should be able to take a hit. Goes for Psychic, I look like a god there. 
And now he has his regenerator call left that can obviously switch. He can switch between those two, but I think we can win. Because I also have my region tornadoes. But it's gonna be so painful, man. Hopefully we can get a hurricane confusion here and there and then we're gonna be good to go. But the problem is I only have like six hurricanes left. So we're gonna roost once. And we're gonna go back to Torn and click Hurricane. Um, yeah. <laughs> This is gonna be a bit annoying. If I had rest on my Kelly, I could PP stall him easy, like way more easily. So hopefully I can connect this. And he's just gonna recover so we do not get the confusion, which sucks. Gotta go for it one more time, we miss. Okay, now I'm forced to U-turn. Oh, if he crits me here, I'm mad. Yeah, now I'm forced to U-turn. Seven recovers left, and I have no hurricanes left soon, which sucks because I just can't kill his Pokemon anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna roost one more time here. He's probably gonna go Tangrowth eventually, but he doesn't. So back in the turn we go. Man, this is so bad. If Mew wasn't poisoned, if Mew was burnt, this would be easier. You turn again, he crit me, which sucks. And back into Torn. He might, he might go Tangrowth here. He just goes. Um, I like that play that he. Uh, I like that he's wasting recovers. I don't agree with his play. It's a misplay, in my opinion. But I'm forced to roost up. If he runs out of Skull, it's gonna be nice. But uh, I'm still not in the best of positions. And I can also try to Ice Beam Freeze this Tangrowth later on. That's another win con I have. <laughs> He goes for T-Spike, that doesn't do anything, but it's just, yeah, he doesn't want to waste other PP, I get that. So we're gonna go for the Confusion one more time. If we get it here, we have a good chance, we don't get it. Oh man, just give me the Confusion, I only have two hurricanes, fuck. I need a Confusion crit here or something. And then I need to hit another hurricane on the Tangra switch. Oh, and get a crit. Of I just have to make him switch into Tangra's and then on my last hurricane, never mind. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to break him. So we're gonna have to go to PP Star Rob, which is gonna take for a while. Man, this sucks. Oh well. This game would have been easier if I didn't fuck up earlier. He cr keeps critting me, stop! Holy shit. Like, he's using the fat team. He should get hex, not me. This team is disgusting. It's like fat balance. I don't know if you can call it semi I guess you can. Uh, I'm just gonna spam knock off for a bit, I don't know. And you turn out. Mm. I can actually go Landris here um, on the turn that he's forced to recover. But I'm not gonna do it on this turn because I'm not sure if he goes for recover. Yeah, I could have gone Landris there. But then he could have then he would have just gone Tangles. If I had fly on my Landris, man. Like Sky Strike. That would be lovely. At least he's burned, so if he's staying in, he's gonna eventually lose all his recovers, which is a misplay. I don't know what he's doing, but after he loses his recovers, um, he's gonna keep switching between his two regenerator mods. I just wasted my last hurricane, which might have been a misplay, but I don't care. Keep staying in. I think he's gonna recover here. Yes, yeah, so now he's gonna go Tangrowth. I can bank on a choke and off quick here, but it's not the play to make. Yeah, I have to U-turn. If I still had Harry cancel that, this would be fine, but I don't. <laughs> so he doesn't know if I if I have Heat Rave. So I'm gonna attempt to knock off his Assault Vest. If he lets me, that would be at least something, I guess. So I've been from Mewtwo a bit more. But he doesn't allow me, that's a smart on his part. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. Man, <laughs> this is so disgusting. Like, people like this guy... Like, I guess it's just the game. I shouldn't get mad, but like, it's just frustrating because like I wanted to record like a thirty-minute or twenty-minute video, not a fifty-minute video, or like a one-hour twenty-minute. Because this kid is, I know that's his win con. I get it, but like, what? It's disgusting, dude. Stop.
Um, if I burn this, that would be nice. But I'm not gonna set my kill here. So he's letting me knock this off, which is something. So my ice beam from you does a bit more now. So this guy's at least choking a little bit. And like I wouldn't have let this get knocked off. He's still in a good position. I kind of he can win, but like, oh well. Going to your toxic packs already. You disgusting player. Move like I don't get what this. There's nothing to think about. So we do get the U-turn off. Into what though? If I had spikes now, that would be so lovely, but I don't have them. And my mule being poisoned is just so bad. Okay, I gotta go for ice beam freeze on this Tangros. If he pivots back, good play. But I just gotta try to freeze him. And he doesn't let me, which is smart. So he scouted for that, which was a good play. Um, we, are, we are reaching the 100 turn mark soon. <laughs> if you're still watching. <laughs> Props to you. Probably half of the people left already, or like 70 80% of the viewers. Not much I can do. I think I'll lose. Mm, I'll just go land on you, turn The problem is just that my entire team is toxic. Fight Sky through, man. I think he knows my moveset, so he knows he doesn't I don't have it, so I can't bluff it. Uh, I just have to crit you down or something. The problem is that my Mew is running out of roots. If my Mew wasn't status, man. Well, Oh, we get a crit with you turn there if you had hurricanes left. I should have preserved my hurricanes better, to be honest, but. I don't really know if I could have. He's gonna go Pex here, which is pretty, pretty obvious. But not much I can do. If I had to, if I had two Ranger monsters, would be no problem, I'd only have one. If I just had a Magic Arc left this game, I could switch infinitely and then would pause the recording and then be back when this guy forfeits, but like, I can't do that. Well, maybe there would be like a draw. I don't know if that's a rule yet. I think I've heard about it. There's like a new rule. Um, I don't know if it's implemented. If both players just switch for 50 turns, I think there's like a tie rule or something, or draw, however you call it. But you're not sure if that's gonna be a thing. Yeah, this is disgusting. Regenerator core goes on and gets on my nerves. Like, just gonna stay in and spam knockoff. Fuck this guy. <laughs> if I wasn't burned, at least, man. <sighs> yeah, now his Tangrus is getting healthier and healthier and healthier, man. This is so disgusting. If I had Heat Wave, man, I don't have Heat Wave. It's two recovers, I think, yeah. He's almost out of skull at least. Problems if I run out of knockoff, I don't have a move to spam anymore. I have to bank on his choke, I guess. Which won't happen. I don't agree with him going into Tangrowth early when he had packs the entire time, like he made some questionable plays here and there. But I also misplayed it heavily earlier, so uh, I can't say anything. Damn. So 
feels bad to lose like this. And this guy ruined my entire recording, so shout outs to this guy. I'm gonna... I gotta control myself, like, if... I'm so mad at this kid. <laughs> Can I just crit him or something with knockoff at least? This is doing no types of damage. We get a crit and it does 8%. Like, that's pitiful. <sighs> it feels so bad to lose like this. And I also don't want to get another one. Kid, holy fuck. Yes, you let me burn it. But did, do I, does my Mew die? My Mew is basically dead now. It's my last roost here. Should have tried to freeze him. What am I doing? Freeze crit. Uh, I can't freeze anyone, but I think crit it wouldn't have killed him anyway. Rip. Burp, burp, burp. There goes my Mew. Um, how much did you do earlier? Land verse used. Wait, what? Did I not? I used you this game. Why is it the cult not showing? Maybe I have to type the right to love used. The right to love used. It does, tw it does 42, so this is a 50 50. This is a 50 50. Yeah, I'm gonna click Earthquake here. And we do catch his Toxapex. And it lives on 1%. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's to burn. Yes, we live. We brought it back, guys. We brought it back, guys. That w I brought it to a 50 50 because he let his tank was burned. He choked on his fattest. on the fattest choke, choke. Ah, amazing. Lovely. Isn't this lovely when they choke? Oh my fucking god. Yeah, he's just gonna die to burn here, I think. Burn plus U-turn. I didn't go Caldia because then he would heal more health with Giga Drain back. Yeah, yeah, now he's in range from U-turn. GG. And we do win. Oh my god. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Camera putting work in the first game. Pretty cool mon. Shout out to Snow for the team. Team will be in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I just don't want to say anything. I just want to say I'm out. Have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for World Cup coverage. And... Goodbye.